Hi, I'm Nana Girl and I want to be a superhero! And this week, the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of super space travel! I've got to say, I'm actually really happy with our space experiments this week. We've worked out how to blast into space with a rocket, how to catch a comet, and how to use acceleration instead of gravity to keep our water from floating out of our glass. And that's important because all this superhero space travel is very thirsty work. There's only one problem. How do we get home? I mean, being a space superhero is exciting and stuff, but there's nothing quite like your own bed after a long day of fighting space crime. The only problem is, once we leave space and re-enter Earth's gravity, well, we'll just fall to the ground like a rock. Even if we landed on a very, very soft bed, it still wouldn't be very good for us. How fast you can fall through air depends on a few things, like how much gravity there is, your shape, and how much drag you create. Oh, also your mass, which is how heavy you are. The fastest possible speed that something can fall is something called its terminal velocity. Sometimes small satellites fall so fast when they come back down to Earth that they actually burst into flames. Oh, I definitely don't want that. There are ways to change that terminal velocity of a falling object, and you can do that by changing the shape and therefore changing the amount of drag that it experiences. I think I have a great experiment which might stop me from crash landing when I come home from my space visit. For this experiment, you will need a sheet of thin plastic. Mine came from a trash can or a rubbish bin liner. Some string, scissors, tape, an egg box or a piece of paper, a wooden skewer, a ruler, and a pencil. So first start by cutting a large square from your plastic. Mine has sides that are about 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters long, but it can be as big or as small as you like. Next, cut four pieces of string. Mine are about 40 centimeters long. And then take your egg box and cut out one of the cups from your egg box. So you'll see with the egg box that there are gaps. So seal it all up by taping it all together and then you can trim the top. Next, you're gonna use your skewer to poke four holes evenly apart into the sides of your egg cup. Be careful, because your skewer may be sharp. Okay, once you've got four holes, use your skewer to push a piece of string into each of those holes and secure them into place by tying them. Okay, once they're all nicely tied, pull the string up together and make sure that the ends are the same length. So you might need to trim a little bit from the top. And now you are ready to attach to your parachute. Put your egg cup in the center and then add a piece of string to each corner. Now you wanna take each piece in place with a little bit of tape. I'm gonna fold this tape over. Okay, so now we have a piece of plastic and our egg cup. This is gonna be our parachute. Time for the moment of truth. And for that, I'm gonna need my tiny daredevil friend, Nano Nano Girl. If she is in my pocket, Nano Nano Girl, are you ready for re-entry to the Earth's atmosphere? She says as long as she doesn't spin around. Good, of course, I promised you I wouldn't do that. Okay, well, not today. Anyway, let's get you into our egg cup. There you are, securely in, okay. Okay, for this, I need to go on my tippy toes to get as high as possible. Are you ready to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere? Here we go. Three, two, one. And now another nana girl is still in the cup. Success. You made it back from space safely. What do you have to say to the people of the Earth? What's that? You prefer spinning to being dropped from a height. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I promise I won't do that again. Not this week. Anyway, I'd love to see your parachutes too. Please share them with us. And in the meantime, I'm off to find a very, very, very large chicken so I can have a very, very, very large egg cup so I can do this too. Okay, I'm going to find a large chicken. Papa!